morning, Angela. A question from our group. Can Noah Hyde be doing good deeds and uh, on that level elevate the soul of Christian parents in Alam Haba? Thank you for your question, Angelique. So the answer is twofold. The first is like this. Every person that exists as we speak has uh, went through several incarnations. And we are here to rectify our previous incarnations. So sometimes there was a, um, a problem that happened in the previous generation where in that generation, there was no possibility to rectify it because there was not enough knowledge to rectify it. So then the child in this generation is going through a certain challenge. It will be because only that child in this generation has the potential, has the possibility to rectify the mistakes of previous generations. Okay, sometimes I'll give you a simple example. Sometimes there is a child with a uh, disease, suffering from a deep disease, okay, leukemia or others which are pretty serious. And the parents sometimes do not understand why the children is they suffering. They didn't do anything bad. They have no response. There is, there's, there's no majority. They, how can they be suffering? So one level of understanding is that Sometimes the mistakes were done in the past have to be resolved by the child on this generation. He's the only one that has power to rectify the lineage of souls, and therefore he's going to manifest that disease because he's the only one. Of course, he has to find the right doctor that is going to allow this rectification to take place. I'm talking about a, a, a personal example that happened to me uh, while I was working in hematology in the Cuba University of a family coming from India. They couldn't get treated there for their, he was uh, eight years old and he was suffering from leukemia. And that, and we were treating them. I remember with Professor Ho extracting blood from another, a, 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 a compatible donor to give to this child. And the mother took me on the, on the corridor while, while we were expecting some roads to arrive. And she asked me, I don't understand why this happens to my child. Child is such a good boy. He sits and he learns and he is a kind boy and he's always, uh, you know, uh, reading stories, etc. Why does it happen to my, to my child? So I had to explain to her what I explained a few moments ago, that the child is the only one that has the power to rectify that which was done in previous generations. And of course, we all know that in India, most people are very much engrossed into idolatry to a very, very, very deep level, to the level that goes to the very nefesh, the physiological level of the soul, which is in the blood, which is that which distributes vitality throughout the body. If idolatry goes so deep into the, the psychology of a portion of humanity over a specific individual, it can uproot almost the entire possibility of being alive. And that happens in the blood. That's the, the most fundamental level of it. That's one level of understanding. This question. Second level of understanding the question is the following. A person is born into a certain context in a certain family. Let's say a person uh, was born in a, in, a, in a family, in a Christian family. Okay? And that person he's, has a particular uh, clarity or insight. He's going to look beyond the, 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 the nest of the family, okay? And he's going to become a Noahide. He's going to understand that Torah is the guidelines for life. And that person was born into that specific family in order to help the rectification of the people of that family. And those people in that family actually were, were there to help the rectification of that unique soul. Ultimately, those souls are not really necessarily from the same level. They are family here in this physical world, but they are not necessarily family on the higher realm where the souls come from. Some can come from the world of Yetzirah. 
Generally, the souls that are Christian come from the world of Asiya, which is the more the gross world where idolatry becomes a possibility because they have no insight. The general souls that were born in those families that come from the world of Bria, the world of intellect, that they have more intellectual insight. They can start, sit and learn. So you understand that the souls come from different realms. So that's the second level of uh, understanding it. Third level, if after all that we have discussed and a person dies as a Christian and goes to be buried by the priest and in a church, there is no elevation whatsoever for the soul the children cannot accomplish by singing songs or by studying Torah and giving and honoring the, the, the shield or Torah for the elevation of the soul. There is no possible elevation. No, there is no, no way to elevate to. When the soul dies from this world, never be have been exposed to the commandments of the Torah, the seven commandments of the Torah. There is no eternity. There is no resurrection possible. There is no elevation. The soul is only in, uh, reintegrated into the infinite light of Hashem. And that's fine. That's fine. We, we should not to be sad about it. Okay? When the people are living, that's when we have to do something about it. When the people are alive. As long as there's life, there's hope. Right? The Torah is called the Torah of life. It's only when people are alive that we can actually do something about it. When people die, only those souls that, yes, were exposed to the light of Torah and forming the commandments, they can know elevation in the Garden of Eden from the lower Garden of Eden into eventually the higher Garden of Eden. But I, I, I reckon and I can tell you that it requires a long time. Okay? So, further than that, in this generation, all souls have the opportunity to be exposed to the seven commandments of the Torah. We have internet. It's, it's widely spread and, uh, and available and abundant. There is no excuses. Okay? To say, oh, but my parents didn't have the possibility. Everybody had the possibility. Since 1984, I think it was when the internet became widely uh, accessible. No excuses. Everybody has the possibility to do it. Now, you and I are not here sitting as judges to say this person is married and, and this person is not married or meritorious. It's not that. Everyone has the possibility and only God knows what the person has in his heart. Maybe even a person outside that seemed to be engaging in idolatry, maybe the person had a moment of repentance and wanted to do the right thing and actually tried to do the right thing. So ultimately, only Hashem knows the value of each soul. And ultimately, Mashiach will come to set. These people looked in a sincere way, and so therefore they, they have a possibility for continuity. But they will be, it, it will be beyond uh, that which... The, sometimes the actions or the lifestyle of a person could be manifested. Is if there is sincerity, in any case, it will be expressed in this world. Okay, so we should definitely do um, good deeds, and uh, while the people that we love are alive, to uplift their, their souls while they are in a physical body. This is when we have a choice. This is when. We are required to, con to, to invest ourselves in studying Torah and doing acts of goodness and kindness. That's how we arouse the elevation of the souls of the people around us. Okay? Okay. Thank you for your answer. Shavuot Tov. Simcha. Shavuot Tov Mevoach.